Today's session is about how to write a fundamental code in Python. Assuming that you must have downloaded and installed Python from its python.org website, we proceed with the session. There are two ways to write Python code. First, run command on shell prompt. Second, save Python program in file and then execute. Python comes with a program called IDLE that is Integrated Development and Learning Environment. On internet, you may also get various other IDEs, but IDLE is the default one. When we write name equal to Aparna, name is a variable that refers to value Aparna. Value written in double quote or single quote is considered as string value. As we know, we do not declare a variable using data type in Python. We just assign a value to them. As per the value assigned to variable, data type is decided by Python. For example, if we write x is equal to 10 and y equal to 10.5, then the data type of x is int and y is float as it is a decimal point. To display value of these variables in interactive mode, we simply write the variable name. Alternatively, we can also use the print function to display them. Please note that Python is case sensitive. Type function is used to check the data type of these variables. When we write type name, it shows its data type as str and see here it's a class. This means here name is an object of class str. Type x shows its type as int and y's type as float. Now let's see operators. Operators are symbols that operate on values. Values on which we apply the operator are called operand. Python supports arithmetic, relational operators and other operators like logical, bitwise, membership and identity. Arithmetic operators are math operators. Here, x is equal to 10 and y equal to 3. Simple, plus for addition, minus for subtraction, asterisk for multiplication, forward slash for divide. Other than these operators, forward slash twice is for floor division meaning the division of operands where the result is the quotient in which the digits after the decimal point are removed. To get the round of value, we use round function. To get remainder or modulus value, we use percentage. This means when we divide x by y, that is 10 by 3, then the answer is 3 and the remainder is 1. To calculate exponential value, Python uses asterisk symbol twice. This performs x to the power of y. Equal to is an assignment operator that assigns value of y to variable x. Now let's do comparison or relational operators. x and y values are now equal as we have assigned the value of y to x. So this comparison operator equal is showing the value true. Not equal operator produces result false. Similarly, we can use other operators like greater than, less than, greater than equal to, less than equal to. Moving to next operator that is logical operator. First one is logical AND and the second is logical OR. It is generally used for compound condition. For example, here condition 1 equal 1 returns value as true and 5 equal 4 returns value as false. When we write logical AND, it returns false because here only one value is true and the other is false. Similarly, when both values are false, then also result is false. Only when both values are true, then the output is true. However, in case of logical OR operator, only when both values are false, then only the result is false. 
otherwise it is true it means true or true written as true true or false also written as true false or false only written as false next is bitwise operator but before we start let's understand how to convert decimal number to binary and vice versa let's consider the decimal number 19 then to convert it to binary we first need to know here that binary number has base of 2 that is 0 or 1 so here we write multiples of 2 2 raised to zero, meaning one. 2 raised to one, that is two. 2 raised to two, four. 2 raised to three, eight. 2 raised to four, sixteen. Next, 2 raised to five, that is thirty-two. Thirty-two is greater than nineteen, so we stop at sixteen and write one below it. Next, subtract sixteen from nineteen and get the answer as three. Four is greater than three, so we write one below two. Now we minus three and two, and get the answer as one. So write one below one. Below all the other values, we write zero. Thus we get the binary number one zero zero one one for decimal number nineteen. Now to convert this binary number to decimal. Again, we use the multiple of two. For example, and after multiplication, we get sixteen zero zero two one. Then we add these numbers, and so the decimal number is nineteen. Let's apply bitwise operators to this binary numbers. X is equal to ten. Y equal to three. Ampersand is bitwise and operator. Binary value for ten is one zero one zero, and three is zero zero one one. Operator rule for bitwise and is, if both values are one, then only the result is one. Otherwise, it's zero. So zero and one is zero. Now both values are one, so it's one. Zero and zero zero. One and zero zero, so the result is zero zero one zero, meaning decimal value is two. Similarly, x bitwise or y. Pipeline symbol is used for bitwise or here one zero one zero 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 one one are binary values, and in case of bitwise or, here bitwise or rule is when Both values are zero, then the result is zero. Otherwise, it's one. So the result is one zero one one, meaning decimal value eleven. Caret symbol is used for bitwise XOR. When either value is one, then only the result is one. Otherwise, it is zero. So for these binary values, result is one zero zero one. That is decimal number nine. Now bitwise ones complement operator, which is a tilt symbol. Tilt is to negate binary value. Here binary value of y is one one. We add the value one to this binary number, then negate this number. So if we convert it to decimal, then the result is minus four. Now let's do shift bit operation, left and right. Two less than symbol is left shift operator. That adds two bits to one zero one zero, as it is a binary value of ten, and so the result of one zero one zero zero zero, and becomes decimal forty. Two greater than symbol is a right shift operator that removes two bits from its right, so result is decimal two. Moving next to membership operators. In and not in are two membership operators available in Python. They are used to validate membership of values. For example, here text am found in name Sam. 
So the result is true. Name Sam not found in text M. So result is true. But here you see name Sam found in text Samrat. So the result is true. We can also apply these operators with list and tuples. About list and tuple we will discuss in the later sessions. Moving next to identity operators. They are used to determine whether a value is of certain class or type. Is and is not are two identity operators used in Python. For example, here we have created three variable list A, B and C. All hold same list of numbers. But A and C has same identity. B has a different identity. This is because we copy location of A to C. So when we compare A with B or A with C then the result is true as their values are same. However, when we use is operator then it compares identity and therefore A is B written false and A is C written true. To proceed with another mode of writing Python code select new file from file menu. Import command is similar to import in Java. Using import command Python gets access to code stored in that module. Here module is math that stores functions for square root, floor value, factorial, etc. F5 is to run the program. First, we need to save this file. Remember, the extension must be .py. Here, as m creates alias, meaning another name to the module math. So, no need to write math. We can write m in place of math. Here we use asterisk. This includes subpackage, module, object and function from module math. With asterisk, it includes all except those that starts with underscore. In this case, we don't need to refer module name to call functions. We can even write absolute syntax of import. Here we write which functions from the module math we want to add in our program. As we see here, it shows error for the floor function as we have added only two functions square root and factorial. As Python is an interpreter, it shows output of square root and then stops execution for the floor command. So here we end the session. Any further queries? Do post it as comments. It will be answered. Do like, share, subscribe for more videos. Thank you.